I'm shooting this intro at the end of the whole process because I realized I should probably put a disclaimer. I should probably put a disclaimer out there that I'm not a professional uh, seamstress, fashion design kind of person. Like I didn't study any of that. I just kind of like picked up the skills on YouTube or asked my uncle how to like sew and stuff. So the stitching and the workmanship is not the best. So don't kill me, okay? I'm just doing this for my own personal growth. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I got this mannequin body from Taupa for a really good price. And I took one of my tight-fitting crop tops and used it as a pattern-making thing to cut out the paper and transferred it to a stretchable nude mesh. I cut it out and sew it together. I also got this piece of giant lace from Taobao. I really like that design. I feel like it would look really good at the front, so I cut that out and pinned it to the mannequin body. Looking good! So I just cut up this 6 meter of soft tulle. Yas! Extra! You can do something with this. Maybe a fail. <laughs> Next, I sew across the top of the tool and gathered it, measured it on the mannequin, and using a white piece of cloth, I'm gonna make a sash and sew on the tool to the sash. And here's a sketch of the front view of the dress and the back view of the dress. I'm gonna attach the back down this line. I really wanna achieve a corset kinda of look at the back, so I made these little loopholes, attached it to the back. I'm gonna use the remaining strap that I have to lace up the corset. And that's it! Are you ready for the reveal? so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed my DIY wedding dress video. I'm not going to wear it on my wedding day because I actually found another dress at a really good price when I was strolling around on my off day in Macau. So I decided to just wear this dress for my pre-wet shoot. If you guys like the photos as well, make sure you check out Minty Flavored on IG. And also thanks to my friend Chiang for helping me shoot some of the stuff during the pre-wet shoot as well. And also a shout out to a flower shop SG for the very beautiful flowers. So cute and it's perfect size because I'm actually quite petite. Put it in a coffee jar so that it's really pretty. <sighs> this is my favorite flower. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like because I worked really hard on this and I hope you guys like the design that I came up with. <sighs> I'm so glad it's over. Now on to the wedding day. Mm -hmm.